Hello, this is Ahmed with Excel lesson. In this lesson, I would like to show you how to subtotal function work in Excel. Subtotal, subtotal have 11 operation in this. If you write subtotal over here, At the first, you should select which operation you want. You want to calculate average, count, count A. These are similar but have a little bit different in criteria. Uh, use maximum, minimum, product, standard variance for sample or for population, sum. Variance sample or variance population. This is very helpful function in Excel. But we have two type of code. The first one is uh, start with 1 to 11. And the second code start with 101 to 111. We will discuss what is the difference during our video. So let's me to begin. I write, I'm going to write three formula over here. First of all, subtotal, I want to show the difference between summation and subtotal. and sum to you in Excel. And also sum total for code 109. I wrote three subtotal and sum over here but there is a little bit difference between them when you select the criteria without any filtration or hide calculation are say but if i'm going to use filter subtotal with code 9 sensitive for this filtration and subtotal for code 109 is sensitive too but some it's not sensitive for filtration so this is the first difference between sum and subtotal but what is the difference between subtotal with code 9 and subtotal with code 109 i clear the filter and remove the filter and let me to hide some rows over here oh subtotal with code 109 change but subtotal with code 9 does not change so subtotal with code 109 sensitive for filtration and hide value in our rows if i unhide this is change you can calculate every value you want over here Okay. 
if you want to create interactive report with some total you can make it very easily if you want to uh, calculate the cell to for instance orange cell in east by filtration at the first you can write what you want I write subtotal for one thing and I write for another thing over here for instance I write another sum over here for subtotal but be careful about divider on your excel my excel divider is comma but maybe your excel divider is the point and semicolon be careful about that i select the total sale this is the total sale without any filtration I change this area to the table and go to slicer and use some slicer for better filtration in subtotal you can use this kind of a slicer in the dashboard for instance if I want to know how much Apple sell totally in east and north this value show me if I use another filter this value show me how much and what is the quantity in the east how much and what is the quantity and for kiwi for orange total fruit sell in the east price and quantity in the north in the south this is interactive report via subtotal also you can use other function in order to uh, create better report for yourself but if I use filter for east you can find something wrong over here because my items row number is not sort you can use count a for this uh, correction I first of all I delete all of the rows and use subtotal for count or count a the both of for uh, both of uh, count and count a is a count value but count only uh, use for uh, values but count a can count value and text I use count a because it's simple more simple and I think I should remove my table first and then I'm going to uh, write the formula so first I am going to remove the filter I remove the filter and uh, convert this section to the normal view
Okay, now I can use soft. Oops. Soft at all. Count A. Be careful, you need to fix the first range. and then use it for the raw but this formula have a bug which bug if you uh, use filter for orange it show you pineapple it's not correct so remove this bug by this add to dash in the first of your formula now if I use pineapple it's only show me pineapple or I use apple or orange like my previous filter it's only show me orange and the row number is sort. I hope this lesson would be useful for you. Please keep in touch in my LinkedIn and YouTube or follow my Instagram. Thank you for your time.